morning guys. Been there into November. It's been a long time. There's been no uploads for a while because I haven't been fishing. I've been very, very busy. I've been doing some social stuff and I've had a really bad shoulder, which I might have mentioned in the last upload, but that has got worse and worse to the stage where I've had to have a cortisone injection, um, acupuncture and other treatments to get some sort of uh, life back into my arm. It's been completely, well, not immobile, but it's been very painful to move. And just in the last few days, I managed to get a bit more movement in my arm. And yeah, I thought I'd come fishing for the day and try and get back, dust off the cobwebs, and uh, yeah, basically get back out because I'm going a bit stir crazy. So anyway, I'm at Watergate Farm, one of my local waters. If you're a regular viewer, you'll see this place many times. And this swim needs no introduction either. It's one of my favorite swims. Got down here, I'm the only one down here when I got here and had a walk around the lake in just as it was getting light. Um, there's a bit of activity I saw right at the far bay in front of me, but uh, I've walked around bit of fizzing in the northwest corner, bit of fizzing on the east corner where I've seen the shows, but I think the shows I'm seeing are just small fish being chased by pike, so I don't want to get down that route, I have just think there's a bit of movement over the other side there, but I'm just, I've done it before, and you start thinking there's fish up there, and then you just see thousands of small stuff just start showing. And I think that is what's giving me the impression that there's movement up there. That and the pike chasing them. So anyway, better the devil you know. I've come into swim one. And I've got the rods out. Put them all three rods put out of the baiting pole. Using my usual rigs and my usual baits. So, in fact, on the bait side, I've got OG fish, harder nookers on all three one of which is topped with a little yellow corns topper. So what are my chances of catching today? I'd say pretty slim. Charlie came around earlier, said no one's been fishing it because there's no fish been coming out, so it's putting people off. And you know me, it doesn't put me off, I'll give it a go. But yeah, if they're not having it, they're not having it. I've done well in this swim in these conditions before. So I'm going on that basis. The baits are all in spots where I've had fish from before and there's not a lot more I can do really. Before I put the baits out I did sprinkle a bit of pellet and a bit of crumbed up boily in the areas I'm going to be fishing, or I am fishing now. So yeah, not much bait but enough for a bite. But let's see what happens. Okay guys, well, very, very happy. It's no monster, but it's a, uh, a fish, and it's on the right hand rod, down into the bay. And uh, I was just sitting there, just shut my eyes, feeling a bit tired after getting up early this morning. Just shut my eyes, a few bleeps, and then off it went. Uh, nice and tight, nice scrap down the margin. And it's this 18 pound common. And like I say, they're all welcome at this time of the year. Don't know what size they are. And there it is, 18 pound Watergate common. Happy days. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there it is, 18 pound, all get common, right hand rod, and that was using OG fish, Arden Luka. And in fact, on that, I had a little 12 mil uh, trimmed down pop up on there just to give it some counterbalance, but uh, that's what picked that one up. 
to the other side quickly. Give him a chance to give me a soak in. It's a nice fight. They always fight in here. Especially with the clear water, you can really see them swimming around under the odd tips. There you go. 18 pound. We'll get coming. There you go, get some photos. Cheers, Josh. Lovely. And the shoulder is holding out just about. So, uh, get it back and ponder whether to put the rod back out or not. Because I've only got an hour or so left. And I don't know if it's worth upsetting the swim. But anyway, happy days. Catch you in a bit. Okay guys, here's the rig. I just had that fish on. So, bottom bait, trim down, pop up on my hinged stiff rig. Quite a long, subtle braid, coated braid, down to a running lead and about three or four foot faintly tangled tube. So, that was it. Watch guys. So, I'm nearing the end of the session. I had that lovely 18 pound common and I'm very, very, very happy with that. I know there's a lot bigger fish in here, but um, just go home with one under your belt on a day session. This time of year, yeah, very, very happy. Like I say, that was on the right hand rod, out of the blue, no signs of any fish, just beep, 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 and the rod's pulling over, and uh, yeah, bit of a tussle in the rushes to my right, it was really trying to get into the, uh, the right hand margin, but eventually eked him out, and then a bit of a running around in front of me here where the swim's a lot deeper and the water is so clear I could see once he's in front of me down here I could see every turn and twist he was making it was actually really fascinating to watch uh, you don't often get to see him like that um, yeah you could see him three or four foot well four foot plus below the surface swimming around so um, yeah exciting stuff I'm happy and uh, I'm going to put the camera away in a minute and yeah, I haven't got much gear with me, but I'm going to put the camera gear away because it is a bit drizzly and not drizzly, but you know, and it's just the atmosphere just feels wet, you just feel damp. So I don't want my camera sitting that in that too long. So I'm going to put it away and yeah, I'll head off home soon. And next week, off to Coking Farm, and I've got a long weekend. I've got three nights ahead of me down at Coking Farm, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, not in one of the swims I'd necessarily would have chosen but uh, you'll see which swim I'm in when I get there and uh, well, fingers crossed we get one out of there as well but um, again it's not going to be easy but we can but try so that's it I'm going to wrap up obviously if something happens on the rods I will get the camera out and you won't miss a thing but until next time thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you then